everybody welcome back to my channel today's episode has been highly requested and i'm so happy and excited personally to be doing this particular makeup tutorial a couple of days ago i had a picture up and it was very much my no makeup makeup it's the makeup i wear every day when i'm going out for errands business see friends or whatever and i always switch it up later on in the evenings if i have to with a stronger colored lipstick so today my loves we are going to have the wonderful makeup tutorial Tutorial, the no makeup makeup and really to be honest it's all about shadows and light and just you know really being aware of the structures and the shapes and the planes in your face so without any further ado let me show you how I created this look all right my love so I put on my foundation and I've done my brows the foundation of choice right now is the Denisa Myricks oh my god love her I'm going to do a full foundation routine in another episode so that you guys can can see how this applies on my complexion but to quicken up the episode I wanted to have my foundation done as well as my brows any foundation that matches your skin tone that is what you should use no specifics right now and try and bring it down to your neck just in case you have any imperfections after that that I go into my pour and conceal correct palette in dark by Mac and what I do is that I trace out my brows so that I have a much more sharper cleaner effect because we don't have any color as we know this is the no makeup makeup so it's all about lights and shadows that is what it is and that is actually what pulls it together and I'm going to go in with my brush and this brush is by Juvia's Place actually they're back in stock this is the nine piece set use my discount code Fumi all right without any further ado I go in and I just play with the colors because this one right here can be a little bit too light this can be a little bit too dark so I just kind of mix it and then I put it onto the edge of my brow, like so. And what I do is that I just drag it down after I've done that so that it can blend into my eyelid. I do the same for the top of the brow. Don't worry about it, we're all going to blend that out but just put a little bit so that it pops. Can you see the difference between this brow and this brow? Then what I do is that I go in with a beauty blender and I just blend that out. Now we're going to go into the highlight. I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. I'm going to put a little bit highlight underneath my cheekbone right here, my laugh lines and on my chin, forehead and nose. <laughs> And I use the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And this is Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup in 6W1 Sandalwood. I'll put, of course, all of the details down in the description box for you guys. So I put some in the palm of my hand. I take my Beauty Blender, da da da. And I go in right underneath the eye. I twist it all the way down and I just go that way. That's what I do. A little bit onto my chin, on my nose, forehead and we blend this puppy out. Hello sunshine, how are you beautiful? Yes, I'm filming. <laughs> you want to say hi to everybody from New York? <laughs> so let me finish, I'm doing a no makeup makeup routine, one of your favorites. Okay, my love, call them and I'll speak to you in a hot minute. Right, okay, you. bye. <laughs> that's Runke. She was here a couple of weeks ago. So that's that. And this is what you should have. Yes? Alrighty. Now I love my Laura Mercier translucent powder in deep. I adore this. I do not bake for the no makeup makeup routine. I just feel that it becomes a little bit too ashy. It can become cakey and you want it to look as natural as possible. So you just touch up and then you just kind of set it in immediately. I'll show you how. And you just go in. And what I do is that I kind of roll my beauty blender so that as I touch it with the powder, I just set it right away. And I go into my eyelids as well, and I just go around. If I need to put in more powder, I'll go again, but this is what I do. And that way you don't have that overcast. I'll do it again. There you go. And then I roll it. 
see so that that way you don't have any residue whatsoever it's the easiest thing once you get used to this i don't think you're going to bake as often and can you see once i have done the powder and the highlight my own natural color cheekbone is popping out and that's what you want because you don't want to do any heavy contouring. Now, I love Juvia's Place. You know this. One of the favorite colors that I use for the no makeup makeup routine is this color here, Abby. And what I do is that I trace it onto my cheekbones, under my cheekbones right here, in the side of my temples, down my nose, underneath my chin. And it gives me a very chiseled, warm, complete look my face begins to have shape structure so to speak and the features of my face pop out this is one of the favorite colors ever it doubles up as an eyeshadow and a blush and i'm going to show you how so you go in you just go in circles yeah just kind of going swooping circles very lightly. That is the key. Just in case you put in too much, you can always correct it and you can always go in if you want more. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! And we're going to go underneath the chin and right at the jaw and just swivel your brush underneath a little bit bring it forward for those that have like prominent chins you can just put a little color there and your chin will recede it's like plastic surgery i love it am i against plastic surgery i can hear some of you asking me right now absolutely not if you don't feel comfortable about something correct it voila to chisel your cheekbones, if you want to go a little bit more, it just depends on you. It's a preference. You can take your beauty blender again, put it into any loose translucent powder and cut it from your earlobe to your mouth right there and just gently trace it all the way down. And what happens is that you're resetting your makeup plus the kind of baby contour that you did and that will chisel out your cheeks even further. Do you see? And we are done with the face. We are done with the face, my loves. Can you see the shadow right here? It's almost as if I have powder right here, but that's just the light and that is the shape of my face. That is your guideline on your face where to start your contour for the nose, yeah? So I go in here and I come all the way down. And that is it. Don't make it hard. Just use your brush very lightly and bring it down. Here we go again. Do you see the darkness in there? Go there and bring it down. And that's it. You don't need to do too much. And then you can just cut it off at the bottom right here just to give you a little sharpness and then touch that's what i do sometimes so that just to diffuse the edges kind of sorta you're good i'm going to use the mac painterly pot and i'm going to use groundwork i'm going to use my finger and this is for the primer for your eyes because we're not doing too much here your eyelid your mobile lid right here is going to stay clear use your finger and dab into your crease into your crease that's all that you are going to do make sure that you diffuse it and that is it with the same color you go in right above uh, the crease and you begin to give that kind of car wash motion above your crease and you begin to make that socket deeper in color you want depth because you want character in the eye socket this is all the color you're going to use and then you go in and diffuse it with a bigger fluffier brush you're going to go in with an angle brush and cut it in the transition just a little bit deeper and go in above, above the crease. And you're going like in the windscreen wiper motion. Ola just corrected me, he's so fabulous. Don't you just love him? Sorry, he's mine, pause off. All right, back to makeup. So this is what you should have, and then you can just diffuse it at the edges, blah, blah, blah. There you go, do, 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 and you are done. For the brow bone, just at the highest center point of the brow, just to really sharpen that baby, we're going to go in with Kessie from the Magic Palette, Juvia's Place. Very lightly, guys. And that is it. 
then bring it down in the center and that's all you should do that is it and then we're going to go in with boronu because this is just going to go into the tear ducts just to wake up the eye a tad not too much right there right there that's it and then you can dust off the excess and go back in and blend That's what we have, my loves. I'm going to use a drugstore mascara, and this is my ever popular Super Jet Black Va 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 Boom mascara. Love this. And then angle your brush, bend it a little bit, and then swoop in. And there's the mascara, my loves. Now, for those of you that have long lashes, you can stop here. As another option, you can wear false wispier lashes, which I'm going to put on right now, and I will be right back. And it just really just opens up your eye. Ta-da! Simple wispy lashes. Don't let them be heavy. And just put these on, which are light, and you can wear throughout the day. And to open up your eyes a little bit further, get a NYX Nude Pencil and put that in the waterline of your eye underneath your pupil. Don't take it all the way. Just take it underneath your pupil to open up the eye. And I'll show you how. I never go all the way because it kind of looks ridiculous. I just want my eyes to pop a little bit. And that is it, my loves. Now we're going to go in with a lipstick. I use Naturally Transformed by MAC. It's a beautiful warm nude without the pink. You can blot with your finger. And there you have it, darlings. You can use any setting spray of your choice. I'm gonna use the Hangover 3-in-1. Da, 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 da. All right. <laughs> mm. ah, so refreshing. Voila, my loves. Now, I'm gonna give you a little tip. You can change this out. If you leave work at 5 p.m. and you have that hot date, keep your makeup as is and go golden. You see, right now you're neutral because it's during the day, but at night you can go golden with two things. You have a bronze lip and you can add the highlighter. Let's get into it, shall we? I love this lipstick called Scorched and it is by Urban Decay from their Naked Heat collection. It complements my complexion so beautifully, I have to share. And there you have it, darlings. And you can go in if you feel like you want a little plump up in the center of your lips with your neutral that you wore during the day and you can just put that in the center just to give it a little bit more oomph. There you go, darlings. Gorgeous. It's still toned down, but you've got that sheen. You've got that little glam. And then you can go in and put some highlight. And I'm going to go in with Lila right here. And we're just going to put it right on top. A little bit on the nose, a little bit on the sides of your head. And that is how you go from day to evening. It's still muted, it's still toned down, but you've glammed it up a little bit and you have that glow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, darlings. Please leave all of your comments down in the comment section below because I would like to hear your thoughts. But this is it. It is so simple. It is so easy. It works for everybody. So I'll see you in a couple of days. Stay fabulous, stay beautiful, and above all, stay glamorous. <laughs> Ula, say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Ula, did you like the look? Oh, very nice. Yes? Is it yummy? It's yummy. <laughs> Be yummy. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of days. <laughs>